so let me show you how to do this card pattern. And I think I already said I'm using the Flight and Airy paper for this. Okay, and I this doesn't have instructions. It just tells you like the measurements you need to get started. And I will show you, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so you have your card base. I'm using Boho Blue and it's five and a half by eight and a half. And I already put a score line at four and one fourth. And that's just your traditional card base, okay? And you will want a bone folder. Then you need designer paper. For this little corner, you're gonna need a piece that's one and five eighths by three and five eighths, which I already cut. And this actually would give you enough for two cards, but I'm just going to make one right now. And then uh, this other paper is going to be, and that one I haven't cut yet, um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So let me cut that. I'm, I'm gonna cut the five and, actually I'm gonna cut three and seven eighths first. So an eighth, you just go to your four, down two little sixteenths, and I've covered the centimeters with washi tape on mine just to make it easier to read. So there's three and seven eighths. I'm gonna go to five and one eighth. Let's make sure I'm saying those correctly right, yes. And I have this little piece left over that I'm gonna just cut a little half inch piece to put on the inside of my card. Okay, you can see, just kind of carries the color over, all right? And then, <clears throat> this piece, I'm not, I, this is, I just wanted to show you, this is what I use to fussy cut this little bird on a branch. And that was the worst part of making this card, fussy cutting that. So obviously you can see in the other ones, I punched out some flowers. And uh, if I did a bee one, I would maybe either use one of these bees though it's a little bit big I might do the one go and have it going that way right there or um there's like some bees sorry I'm trying to find my things there's some smaller bees you can fussy cut from the paper that I thought would be cute if I tried this pattern with that which was my plan and I didn't get to it so anyway um that's just showing you where I got my little bird from Okay, um, but I didn't use that pattern. So um, we also are gonna need two pieces, four by five and one fourth white, one for the front, one for the inside. And then I have scraps for your greeting. And of course, depending on what you're making, you know, you may need scraps for other features. Um, I used for this little, oh, there it went. I just heard it fall. Oh good, it's not lost forever. I used um, these new Thoughtful Expression dies, which are just like really, to me, delicate and beautiful. So my first one I used, oh goodness, what are those called? I used Nested Essentials, but these are just a new thing you can get from the mini catalog. So that's where that came from. All right, well, let me show you how to do this. So step one is you're gonna take, you are gonna need a ruler and a pencil. You'll take your card on this right side, go down two inches and put a little mark there. I have to put this in closer to my head so I can see it. Okay, so two inches there, that's step one. Then you're going to score from that mark to that corner. Make sure you score and don't cut it off because I have done it wrong. Okay, so you get your score line lined up in your groove and you get your corner in your groove. And I know this, let's see if I can get that in the camera. So you see I have a, nope, not that corner, excuse me. You want this mark 
and this score middle mark there, okay? That's what you're going to score. Okay, and then that will fold down to give you that piece, okay? So that part is not too complicated. Now it's trying to get all these other layers just right. That is a little bit finicky. Oops. So we're gonna take this. Nope, we're gonna do the white one first. I'm cutting this corner, but I need to cut a piece small enough to fit on the front, this flap. And then I have to cut it again to have it fit underneath. The first time I just cut it to fit under the flap, but then I realized I could use this piece if I do two cuts and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going up to a very thin top edge. Okay, it's big on the bottom. It's just cause I'm trying to get this how I want it for the top. So you see that has a smaller 16th edge. So I'm going up to the top and I can see my score line there and my mark there. And I'm gonna make this like just a, a smidgen smaller, like a 16th inch smaller from both, okay? This is where I don't have like really exact measurements, but um, now I'm gonna cut from that line to that line and that's gonna give me the corner piece that we hope is gonna fit here. I always am like, is this actually gonna work? And it does. <laughs> Let's hope it does this time while I'm on camera. Okay, so I'm putting that little mark there. Not exactly the corner, it's a little in from the corner because I need this a little smaller. And you're better off always cutting your blade into the widest part, okay? Instead of onto a corner section. All right, here it is, moment of truth. Let's see if it lays right. Sometimes I need this one underneath to see my edge. Okay, it laid right. It's barely, you can barely see that edge, but it's there, okay? So it worked. And now this though is still a little too big to, well, actually it fits. So you don't have to go and cut it again. I don't know why. Well, I'm going to cut it again just a little bit because I want a wider edge. And see, now it's going over the score mark. I'm just going to go from there to the corner. I'm curious, Catherine, did you guys already make these cards and did they work for you? <laughs> I, like I said, I did this in my card club and I this was the card I was hoping wasn't going to give people too much grief. I can see that I need to put new blades in this, but I don't have them with me right now. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a feathery edge. Okay, now you're going to put this piece on here, leaving your little 16th edge all around. Now, of course, you could eliminate this white piece and make it a lot easier. Um, but I like that little white edge around everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Wow, those marks are a lot harder to see. This is where you don't want to come in from the corner. It will flip it. You want to come in from your side. And I'm hoping that's going to fit my corner. Yeah, it's, it's, it's close enough. All right. So we could, you could use this piece and like, depending on what's on the other side, use that. This is not great for the other side. So I've cut a different piece which is what I ended up doing on all of mine. That's one and five eighths by three and five eighths. And you're just gonna cut this in half to layer on this piece. Like so. And it should work for two cards. 
if he wanted to make two. And I can see one is a little smaller than the other. And since I'm only making one, I'm gonna pick the one that's slightly smaller. Um, that doesn't really matter. Actually, that one works really perfectly. We'll use that one. Okay. So now we're just assembling here. These parts on this side would be much easier to fussy cut than that little tiny thing in flowers, but I loved the look of that. So that's what I did. Okay. And then we're gonna glue that onto there. Giving a bigger edge around the sides and the bottom. And I'm actually gonna, you know, let me glue this paper to here first. You can see the other ones I made, I had more of a pattern going on that side. But when I looked at this paper, I just felt like none of the pattern ones would work. They would be too similar. The only one I thought of trying was this pattern there on the corner, but I felt like there wasn't enough of that pecan color in my DSP to do it, so I didn't. Okay, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and put the inside piece in first. Notice I try to do a really thin layer of glue so I don't have this super wet and I don't want it to warp or like later on be stiff as a board from that glue drying. Okay, that's gonna go there and it's almost easier for me to do it flat like this. Just a little precaution or like heads up, if you do order tomorrow with the new catalog, um, expect shipping delays. They always get a lot, a lot, a lot of orders on that first day and things can just take much longer to arrive than usual. So prepare for that. Okay, so now to keep that down, we put dimensionals there. You know, one is probably enough, but just for extra security, as I don't want it to pop open with all my stuff going on on there, I am gonna use three, okay? So that holds your fold down. And then, this hello there, which I love the font, and this softly sophisticated stamp set, this is another set you can get free with a $50 order. I've been highlighting celebration stuff the last couple times here. Um, I'm using boho blue. No, I thought about trying this other one to see if it would fit. You're in my thoughts, but too late now. And then I put a dimensional on the left side, but just tape on that side so that it would not be too, like lifted too high on that side. And 
And I am not going to sit and fussy cut this again in front of you guys because, like I said, that took me a little time. But you can add your little bird there. Or you could cut some flowers from this one. It's hard to tell. It has some pretty flowers in it you could cut. Um, or you could just leave it as a greeting. Now, I spent forever trying to figure out what kind of ribbon or twine would be best there. I wanted this boho blue color, but this ribbon is so thick that I didn't know if it looked too thick. I would ask you guys your opinion, but I don't know if anyone's still watching. So I tried the blue. You guys tell me if you like this linen thread. The linen thread's just kind of hard to see on this pattern, but I just went with it because I feel like it goes with everything. So there's the boho blue bow. And I also wondered if maybe it hid my cute little edges. And I tried a single twine bow. I almost went with that. And I tried a double twine, white twine. And in the end went with the linen thread. But if anyone's watching, you like the linen thread with, what about doubling it? The white one? This one I did double. It's just hard to see. It's so thin. But, um, and the white one I tried without doubling, then with doubling. This is kind of a thicker linen thread, to be honest. It's not the Stampin' Up! one. Um, and then, anyway, so whatever you like, you can add there, and then you could fussy cut something. These are the Bloomin' Pearls. You can see I've used a bunch, because I used them in that class. But that is the Corner Fun Fold card, and I don't... I don't exactly know how the person I copied this from did these layers. I, that was just me looking at her thing, figuring it out. So there could be an easier way out there. But anyway, um, so my question for the day is, um, if you win my wheel spin this week, which one do you want? Do you want the hello there with the birds? You could say birds, lost lagoon, or coral because you'll get one of these cards. So you can just tell me which one you would want the most and I'll do the wheel spin. I still need to do it from last week, so I'll do that today also. Anyway, thank you for joining. Um, this is our host, my host code for January. My gift is, I, you know, I try to think of different gifts than I've given. I haven't done this for a while. I'm trying to find one. It's a C block. And even if you already have these, if you use like stamps sets with lots of pieces like I do and don't want to have to peel them off and on, I really feel like you can never have too many clear blocks. So that's the gift if you place a $50 order and use my host code. Even if your order isn't $50, I still appreciate you using the host code. If your order is over $150, you don't use the code because you get your own rewards. And I will still send you the gift as long as you order with me. So I think that's everything. Um, site today is the deadline for the paper share bingo and the Be Mine Card Club. So check out my events or text or message me if you can't find them. And I'll see you guys next week. <clears throat> Take care. Bye-bye.